the name of the exhibition is Gatehouse Paintings. And the series I started down the road in West St Kilda when I was working in that studio was basically a panoramic view looking all the way from, say, Brighton, across the bay, across the breadth of the bay, over to Williamstown and the port of Melbourne, over, basically over to here. So I blocked the uh, series in. I think it's 13 pictures altogether. The original idea was to fit a wall at the gallery. And so as a result of that, 12 were exactly the same size and one of the, one of the paintings was in the middle. To be, to, so to fit it in was gonna be this size, so it was just slightly shorter. I've been fortunate enough to have this room now in the gatehouse um, for at least a couple of years. And the moment looks like I can keep painting here for the moment, which is great. Um, so it means you can you can leave paintings on your easel and you can come back and resolve them. You can you can do a painting, you put it aside, revisit it later on. Um, where it's, it's, I used to work in St Kilda Marina a lot more, work out the back of my car, and basically you've got to paint your picture in a day and get it resolved in a day because you need to put it back into your car and take it back to your studio and let it dry and things. So different different way of painting. That they, they would they were good in their own way. Like you've got other side of the bay, you've got Sorrento, which I do a lot of painting from there too, with the with the heads and the ships coming in and out of the heads. But now this we're in the port of Melbourne, the other the other port the other end of the, the shipping lane in, in Port Phillip Bay. So it's great, you can see the ships coming in and out of the port of Melbourne and I've got a direct view of the shipping um, channel. When you're looking out the window, they're coming either directly at you or heading directly out because the shipping lane is out, is out this uh, window here. Uh, so you can see them right in the distance, so you can see them really close up. Um, and it's great when you've got a lot, on the, a lot of ships on the horizon at the one time, it's just the, the different shapes they make. And also the weather is a massive influence on, um, on uh, things around here, how you paint. Um, the mood of the day. I think when you're right next to the sea, which you are down in Sorrento, and here you're pretty close to the sea as well, it kind of dominates your work a little bit. You bring the horizon line up on your pictures a lot and incorporate the sea into a lot of your paintings. Quite often on a, when I go to a blank canvas or board, I block an image in very simple shapes with a, with a pencil because it goes past really quickly to capture that moment and then I'd paint it up pretty quickly after that. You still had the ship out there but it would have moved on from the position you had it in before and then um, work it up from there. Yeah, so you've captured the, captured the image. I've done a bit of painting in Sydney because I show in Sydney every couple of years and work up there, mainly around Sydney. Um, everything is quite immediate. You've got the land masses, so it's all quite immediate in front of you, whereas here you've got a vast horizon line. A lot of work's out in the distance. When objects or boats or whatever come in past the window towards Williamstown, that it, it is kind of a little bit Sydney-ish. It reminds me of it with the buildings in the background and uh, the yachts and the activity in the media sea in front of you. The sea does mirror the sky, which you do notice up in Sydney a little bit, but it's not so obvious as it, as it is in Melbourne. Melbourne's a lot of... For me, it's a lot of just a straight horizon line moving up and down the, the, the picture um, and just painting sea and sky reflecting against each other. So a lot of the time, that's a lot of my works. You become fairly energised with, uh, with the larger pictures. You've got, to, you've got to get the surface covered. So you do use bigger brushes to cover the, the surface and you need to anyway, but the largest brush strokes in front of you, you look out in the, at the sea and you see the waves in front of you. Further back is just little specks, so that's why you lose, use larger brushes at the start, at the bottom of the picture, up to a certain percentage of the water. Maybe three quarters of the water is covered with the larger brushes, then you suddenly gradually push back your smaller brushes and gives you a bit of perspective. Things that um, people who pass by here wouldn't normally notice, I'd notice pretty quickly because I've been looking at that, that view for up to a couple of years. Um, so it takes a long time to get confident in, one, in a particular spot, uh, painting spot. I think it's taken me up until now, I've been here for on and off for a couple of years. It's, um, it just takes a long time to acclimatise.